All right, guys, listen. So before we get started with this haircut tutorial, I just want to point out something, man. I want to congratulate my boy, Get Beamed, for dropping his first music video. This is his first song. It's a freestyle over the Super Gremlin beat. It is a banger. Like, it is a banger. Listen, I'm not going to play this for you right now, but I wanted to shout out my boy. I'm so proud of him. Get Beamed. I hope... I hope your music career takes off. He's been going, like, everybody was messaging me and commenting on my stuff. Where's Beam? Where's Beam? This is what he's been doing low-key. He's He sent me a lot of his music. I got a lot of insider information. And I think the music is dope. Um, I think his career is going to take off. Um, and I hope you guys support it, man, because he's doing, He's he's. it's not like he's not going to be a barber or he's going to stop his YouTube channel or anything like that. But he just took a break from YouTube so he could focus on his music. And I hope as an industry, we're barbers, man. We're always up on our music and we're always sharing other people's music. So if you rock with it, definitely go download it on Apple Music, on Spotify. Definitely go show him love on his YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, super proud of my dog. Bane, keep doing what you're doing, man. You're a gifted, gifted, gifted young man, bro. And I can't wait to see, you know, what, what your future holds for you, man. With that being said, let's go ahead and uh, start this YouTube tutorial. Let me know what you think about the cut. All right, man. You ready for a cut, bro? Oh, yeah. What you getting done, man? I'm going to get the, you know, they always tell me not to do the medium. So I'm going to get the high taper this time. High taper, okay. High taper, taper the back. I got a colic right here in the front. Okay. I'll probably take the beard down with a three. A taper three the beard. And taper the beard in. Yep. All right, cool. Are you taking anything off the top? Yeah, we're gonna do a, a three close. A three close against the grain. The new wall legends. Um, I don't think they're out yet, but we gonna try them out. See how they how they move. YouTube, what is going on, guys? So listen, um with this particular client we are doing a number three against the grain but i want you to notice how he usually gets like a lower to mid taper and how light um the taper area is the temple taper area is exactly where i'm kind of cutting now it's it's like naturally lighter in that area and that's a common thing um and so when we do this high taper you know we're gonna have to keep that into consideration so that's one of the things that i'm looking at as i'm cutting his hair i'm also looking at all the crazy different hair growth patterns and you know how how much darker kind of like the middle of his hairline is compared to his corners that's another thing that's common as well um and then you can just kind of see the scalp a little bit so i'm i'm combing as much as i you know as i can as i'm cutting a lot of the combing gets cut out with the editing but um you know he's got calyx everywhere you got to make sure you're cutting in all kinds of different directions so we're going to start this taper out um balding out this bottom line um creating our initial guideline and we're going to follow it up with a shaver and today we're going to check try out these wall legends it's all the way open and then we're going to go to being closed and opening it little by little as we go up now all the way open with this clipper is supposed to be a little bit longer i didn't notice that much of a difference which i'm actually glad um that it's not too much of a stretch um because then it throws off my whole system um and so uh we're, while we're here we'll go ahead and start fading in the beard he kind of had like a um like a ice pick almost into the temple so it didn't take much to fade out so next step we're going to do is the one and a half guard it's all the way closed and right beneath that we're going to jump straight to the half guard so the half guards all the way open and then we're closing it little by little as we go down and um, we'll probably need to take that half guard off to finish the taper but maybe not because this is a stretch blade right a stretch bracket it opens up more and it didn't look like we needed to so that half guard kind of just blended right into the blade all the way open you notice that I, I didn't really need to take off the guard and use the corners like I'm doing right now but I did because I, I try to be as detailed as I possibly can so at this point we're using the number two guard we started off open then close we'll probably have to from there we'll start to blend down um, to kind of finish off this blend get the get the gradient stressed however I need to um, and so you guys can kind of see I, I went down to that one half guard now I'm back to using the corners of my half guard and especially here behind the ear you can hear you can see not here but you can see how the hair growth pattern is growing 
backwards like towards the direction of the back of his neck area so you got to keep that into consideration and then taper so now we're here we're um tapering out the back the the neck taper and you can see again just like kind of like his uh taper area where his temples are it was a little bit lighter in this area it's lighter as well crazy hair growth patterns you know this was an intimidating taper back here um but so what i decided to do was just blend down and take what his hair gives me you know what i mean um i kind of hopped back there just to hit hit something that i saw probably but i'm just giving taking taking what the tape is giving me right so i'm i'm not going through all my steps because with this type of canvas you just got to kind of um be able to almost sculpt the final look that you're going for there's really no uh system that's going to help you with this type of fade you just got to kind of um, create what your eye what you want your eyes to see um and so essentially i'm hopping back and forth different guards um really using a lot of corners in darker areas not touching areas that are just naturally lighter um until i get the gradients that i'm looking for it's really hard to teach that you know through words to translate it um so i, I apologize for that but that's really the best explanation i can give for what i did on that neck taper there and a lot of times it takes less time to do that do tapers with 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 canvases like that just because you don't have to cut everything okay so here we are we're doing the same thing as we did on the other side of his temple taper we're doing on this side and we started off with that initial guideline blade all the way open now we're, we're um fading out this section by closing it little by little until that bottom line is gone now we're going to go to that one and a half guard it's all the way closed look at how i'm using the clipper in this direction in this angle that's because i'm going against the grain the opposite direction of what his hair naturally wants to grow and his hair is growing naturally backwards pretty weird it's different um does make it a little bit more difficult to create this taper but nonetheless we can get a nice taper on him i believe we're using the half guard now it's all the way closed to take out this line and then the next guard um once this section is faded out we'll use as the two guard all the way open and then closed but like this side you can see it, it just blended differently um and that's that's how it is man no canvas is going to be um perfect there are some that are more perfect than others obviously but um that i think that's what makes a barber a great barber it's not necessarily that they can do the best fades on the best canvases or the best haircuts on the best canvases it's what can you do for the average person who has the average amount of imperfections um with their hair how can you solve their problems and make them feel better and look better um and you know if you can if you if you care enough about you know everybody's hair and trying to do your best to make it as nice as you can possibly make it i think that goes a long way and that's what retains clients and that's how you build your clientele man you know um sure not every canvas is going to get the most beautiful haircut that you can post on instagram but you know you can make somebody feel like a million bucks because you took your time you cared enough and uh most people believe it or not most people go a long time almost a lifetime finding a barber um that has that mindset or that attitude and it's crazy to say that but um you know success leaves clues and I'm, I'm sure people who are watching this can relate to everything that i'm saying um especially those that were kind of forced to start cutting their own hair because they couldn't find a good barber i see it all the time in my comment section so you know i think that most people unless they like cutting hair if they could have found a barber that solved their problems and that cared about their hair they probably would never start cutting their own hair so barbers come on get it together all right so now we're gonna go ahead and start lining him up and honestly this is gonna be a rough draft i don't know about you guys but i probably line up the same lineup like three times in three different phases so i'll do a rough draft end up you know doing something like this finishing off a taper or something Tito, um let's get it do the neckline do the neckline you know all the way around and then go back and start the same process in the same area combing um or i may 
you know line somebody up and see some areas that have too much hair that or too much length that if i faded it a little bit more the lineup would take a lot nicer i, I feel like that's something that not that many people share but like i might taper the behind the ear a little bit more or in the middle of somebody's hairline and then go back and do redo the the lineup process and then i might hope put spritz after that to get it really really sharp um or hairspray and then enhance it and then line it up again to get it as sharp as i possibly can to get any little hairs that are overlapping from the hairline to make sure that you know when somebody gets out the shower um they don't have hair like overlapping their hairline you know um and then depending on the texture of hair i'll wet the hair comb it down and then line it up again you know so um i feel like i like a lot of people don't share that and maybe don't they don't do that but i can tell you that i've done that for a long time customers notice it and they appreciate it man because your haircuts look good tomorrow not just it just right now for the photos right like if i could comb hair in any direction and it messes up the whole cut that's tough for a client to maintain and and style and keep looking the way it looks when you right when you cut their hair right so all right so we're enhancing the cut and like i said you know we after we enhance it we detail some more i decided to stack some fibers over top of it just to give it a little bit more of a realistic effect where it has where it looks like there's hair um obviously we gotta put some spritz on it and then we will reline it up this is my first time cutting his hair so it was a lot of trial and error to try to get it you know to the best final result that I can give them. Almost every single client that you see in my YouTube videos, almost, I would say like 95% of them are first time clients. So keep that in mind. I actually like it that way. I feel like there's more learning. Um, there's more segments where you can learn um, because obviously I'm gonna have to go through more trial and errors that I can explain, right? Especially when I'm doing um, cuts where I'm mic'd, which I'm going to continue to do. Just so you guys know, this is an older tutorial that I probably recorded months ago, right? Um, I got a few of those in the chamber whenever I can't get in the shop. Um, and so this is one of those videos, but I'm going to try to do more of the mic'd up content because it lets me to it, it, it lets me explain exactly what I'm thinking in the moment as opposed to of you know doing a voiceover and trying to remember what i was thinking but yeah th this is the first time i pull out the number one guard if you guys notice i did all this without a number one guard but i did pull out the number one guard to detail because it's detailing and boy look how that taper looking from this angle taper looking crazy from this angle especially after we detailed it some more all right so now we're going to clean up the beard finish this beard part up um with the number three guard i'm going to shut up for a little bit and i'll come back when it makes sense to come back. All right, and just so you guys know, I did, I do believe I use a very light mist of no drip um, with the Beam Team compressor to give it a little bit of a fuller line. Um, and I don't know if you guys can notice it, but I tried to make it look as natural as possible. His beard was already light in that area, but I wanted him to be able to catch a line. So we just did a light mist of no drip so it didn't look too fake and then lined it up. You guys let me know what you thought what you thought about that tactic or that um that uh 
strategy let me know if you guys agreed with it guys this is the before now check out the after blurry not bad for my first time cutting his hair that thing looking kind of blurry i ain't gonna lie hey guys i appreciate y'all hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned a few nuggets or, or whatever um and yo tomb 45 academy.com episode two of building a million dollar company in six months is available right now if you log into tomb 45 academy.com go check it out full of crazy gems this episode is about sourcing products and negotiating with your manufacturers see you on the next video